we go over to oh my god what is this <laughs> Hello everybody, Grace Snow Blazer, we're back with more Gold Rush. Everyone ready to make money? Raise your hand. Because we're about to do so. I was over here by the factory for a reason. Uh, I know that you can sell Magnetite. So I was actually over here to see where the Magnetite sale area is. There's actually a little guide in DigTube. Again, DigTube to the rescue, folks. It'll teach you everything. And the magnetite that you separate when you get the trailer that can hold it can be sold right over in front of this grate. And then you twist the little thing on the trailer and the delicious magnetite goes in here and you get paid money for it. But today, some things have happened and we gotta take advantage of it. So, I was called a pleb lord because I didn't use the magnetite separator. There's kind of a reason for that. Before... Okay, so this game has gone through several incarnations of balance right now, and that's fine. They're working on it, they're trying to decide how much money is too much, how much gold is too little. So one of the things was, in the beginning, like, people were finding gold friggin' left and right. Like, it was just pouring out of the mountains. Like, like wine. It was just flowing out and people were millionaires in moments. Well, that's no fun, because then you don't really get to play much of the game. Well... Then, a little while ago, there was another little patch, and what the magnetite separator did was it didn't do anything. <laughs> it actually gave you less gold. There was another patch that just happened now, which supposedly- Oh my god, I can already see my hoses flipping out, man. I don't know what's going on, but it doesn't look good. I did a little bit of work off camera, not much. I'm gonna keep you guys for most of the journey, so don't worry. I'm not gonna do too much. You can see I have about six grand. So one of the things that happened, was they fixed employees so they actually make money now. Before, you basically paid employees, and they didn't really, like, do very much other than suck the life's blood out of your business. So now, supposedly, they work legitimately. And I think they may have fixed the gray method of getting water, too. We'll find out. We'll find out that in just a second over here. Let us go to our tent, though, and hire a would-be scumbag so that he can make us money. And we can pay him very little for doing so. Over here, the workers are locked, so we're gonna go ahead and spend the three grand to unlock it. There we go. If we go over to- Oh my god, what is this? <laughs> no! The artwork! Over here, we have Buddy Cover. Uh, Buddy Cover, and is he it for right now? Yeah, he's it. Okay. So, he costs 122 bucks, and he works 40%. Does that mean, like, he works 40% of the time, or? I don't really know. Uh, but we'll go ahead and hire this poor schlep, and then we'll move over here, and now we can put him on the parcel. We only have one parcel, so it's the only one we can select. But we can put him on various things. You notice we have this, the excavator we can put him on, the pump, or the no pump. Now, I'm very curious. If you put him on the excavator, does that mean I can't use the excavator, or does that mean when I'm using the excavator, he isn't making money? They're basically like, um... They're basically like residual income. So let's go and assign him right now to the hog pump. And we'll shut down this. Now I don't think- Oh! Oh, we already made a little piece of gold! Oh, we made another piece of gold! He's doing it! So... I don't think... That you need the items all set up, because if you notice, there's no water or anything going through over here. Like, the hog pump is just like- I mean, it's here, it's working. But there's no actual water to use the pump going through it. So I'm very curious about that. Something else I noticed, running is now the default. So when you hold down shift, that's when you actually walk. That's fine. I'm, I'm totally okay with that. Uh, let's go head down here. Oh my god, when I use this thing, the devil himself is gonna springboard. Someone was like, Ray, what were you apologizing for last time? I was apologizing because I had apparently annoyed Satan. Because, um, every once in a while, these cords go off into the stratosphere. It's gonna happen. You know it is, right? You can see it right here. Alright. I'm gonna grab this. I think we can wind this up. Okay, so somehow... It had gotten down into the land of sadness. Uh, if we go down there, we are never going to be able to get- Well, actually we can. We can respawn ourselves. Hold on. Alright. So I managed to get our one cord over here. That worked out okay. It's mostly the cords. That's the biggest thing that I've seen problem-wise. Is the cords going completely ballistic. And kind of doing their own thing. Alright, although my cords have been possessed by the devil, they're fine now. It is late at night, which means that the friggin', you know, the, the yeti or the, uh, the jackalope or something like that is probably hunting us. 
So let's go to sleep real quick over here until the uh, until the daytime comes. You can see our worker is freaking doing fantastic right now. He's making big money over there. We're up to 091, 092. Now it says that I can get another worker. So hold on over here. Let's go over here. Let's go back over to the worker area. We have... Is it the same guy? Oh, that's our... It looks like he's different. Was that what he looked like before? Mother of God. Got Manuel Bagwell over here. He's a 34% worker. We could go ahead and hire him and put him somewhere. Let's go ahead and hire him. Let's go hire him. Switch on over to him. Old Arnold Parcel. Now, if we put him on the no pump, what happens? Let's put him on the excavator. I'm very curious what happens if we put him on the excavator. Because mainly I'm curious if I'm not allowed to excavate or what. So over there, again, you can see our ounces climbing big time. And while they do so, let's try the magnetite separator. So before, I was getting right around 0.85, I would say, of gold. Not using the magnetite separator. All right, so our our pan system doesn't work anymore. We can't get water from this, so that's fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to have to go and we're going to have to buy more pumps so that we can extend them all the way down to the riverbed over here. And we should be able to do it. I think if we buy maybe like three more pumps, we should be just fine. But what a pain in the ass it's going to be having to refuel all of these. Meanwhile, though, man... I love the fact that our guys are just making money while we're doing nothing. Well, you know, and we're not doing nothing. We're working the business here, okay? We're making sure that they have the materials necessary to make this whole thing work. Let's head back over to town and buy some more pumps. All right. Rolling up over here into the warehouse. Notice as well that our, uh, our truck... I don't know why I turned that off so early. That our truck is substantially different than it used to be. We don't have side rails anymore. It's a lot slower as well. The pickup is less, which is probably appropriate because we are flipping all over the damn place. Is there anything new and exciting in here? All this stuff was here before. I feel like I want to get another jerry can. In fact, I think I'm going to. I'm going to get another jerry can. Uh, and we're going to have to fill it up as well. Oh, this is the uh, this is the magnetite trailer I was talking about. Five grand and you can have yourself a magnetite trailer. But we're going to be spending money over here for right now. We're going to need several more water pumps. I'm actually going to buy three of them, I think. And then on top of that, we're going to need more water hoses. Let's get a whole freaking slew of those. And then we're going to need some fat water hoses as well. Let's get more of those. All right, there we go. 730 bucks. I'll take it. Let's go ahead and do it. You'll find your ordered stuff outside. Now, if we get a trailer eventually, it'll make things a little bit easier. I won't have to, like, quite jump aside. Oh, look, everything is standing so erect. That's interesting. Let us begin by piling everything into the truck. And on top of the truck. How about into the truck? There we go. Okay, everything fits smashingly. Wonderful. Oh, I can't even close this. Come on, get in there. Get in there. Get in there. Okay, now let's see. Come on, come on. You can close. It's close enough. If I can get this hose inside, I'd be a lot happier. Oh my god, all the hoses are dancing. Oh, we need a trailer so bad. All right, next time we come here, we're getting a trailer. I promise you guys. For right now, let's try and make it... Oh, whoa, whoa, what happened to my engine? That was weird, my engine cut out for a minute there. Let's try and make it back like this. I think everything's gonna hold on for the most part. We gotta get fuel though, because we have several items in here that need to be refueled. Over to the gas, you upstation. Come in like a freaking bat out of hell. Let's go ahead and turn this off over here. Now, I remember, uh, I didn't get to show you guys this last time, so you can grab your gas chunk over here. And then if you get close enough, a lot of the times, it'll highlight. Yeah, see, like, right over here, it kind of highlighted it for just a second. Hold on, let me see. How about if I get up on top of this? Oh, this is... There we go. Go ahead and fill up the jerry can nice and full. Right over there. Let's go ahead and fill this up. We're gonna fill everything up we can because it takes six gallons of gas. Each one of these pumps is six gallons of gas. And if we fill them all up in the first shot, we're not going to have to fill them up later. There we go. We're getting everything right now. Oh, come on, come on. Right there. Right there. Excellent. We filled up everything. We've got a jerry can full of fuel, and we should be good to go. All right, rolling up to the dig site. You can see our boys have already made us about half an ounce of gold so far today. I'm going to go ahead and take that out right there. I don't like the way it was looking at me. Something that we can do, and this would probably remove one of the pumps from the equation, is... Let me think about this for a second. We can probably move... The mobile wash setup, like, 
right here, right on the cusp over here, and then dig into it so it's closer to the water. I think that's what I'm gonna do real quick. First, I gotta get this thing out of the way, though. All right, let's go ahead and pull this thing over here real quick. That's the one thing I like about the mobile wash plant, man. You can move it if you need to. Of course, the big one, when we can get the big one, it's gonna be all set up right there, man, and it is gonna look freaking sweet. All right, so let's go ahead and move this as close as we can over here. I would say... Not quite that close. I want to I want to move it back a little bit further. Maybe like right about here should be good. Uh yeah. All right. I managed to do it with just two pumps. How do you like that? By moving everything over. We just have two pumps working this now. All right. Let's start mining some gold and check out the magnetite separator over here. Oh yeah. Yes. Making that money, baby. Putting that pay dirt inside. I've got a nice little setup over here. I just dug one of my cables into the ground, but it's fine. We'll pick it up eventually. You can see the skills that pay the bills over here. This is amateur hour on the Minotaur freaking excavator. Doing pretty good, though, for the most part. You can see it goes right up to about 80-some-odd percent down from 20. So those are pretty good scoops. And over here, I'm going to be taking this whole area to the ground, man. I want, I want to turn this place into a pit of gold and deliciousness. I got a pan over here too. I'm gonna have to move. I'm gonna move all this stuff so it's not in the way. Cause right now it's kind of in the way of my digging. All right, our boys have made us about an ounce of gold, a little over an ounce of gold so far. They've also drained us of what, like uh, 1,500 bucks? I wasn't really looking. So the question is, is it worth it? I really don't know. Let's go ahead and turn this off real quick. Go ahead and grab our gold over here. So. Magnetite separation, A. Eh? We'll give it a shot and see what happens. So in order to use the magnetite separator, you need a dirt bucket and you need a gold bucket. And then we also need to put a small power cable into it. Which, it's weird that we only have one small power cable hookup. I'd like to see like another power cable hookup. And then there is a slot to hook this in and this needs water as well. So you can do a couple of things. Uh, we could just use another hose, which is probably the easiest way. So let's go ahead and grab one of these over here. And I think we should be, yeah, we should easily be close enough. All right. Slap her in over here. You can see the water's going in. Start. Here we go. Grab our bucket. Put it inside. Now you're going to watch it go ahead and fill way up. Sometimes it doesn't fill all the way, I notice. Sometimes it goes to like 90 or so. And it doesn't quite fill all the way. We'll watch it though. We're getting 80, now. okay, 90%. Go ahead and turn it off. We don't need that anymore. Now we can uh, we can grab this over here actually, and then do our wave table. Here we go. And we can also take this and hook this into the wave table as well. There we are. Wave table's running. Wave table has the water. Oh, it's already functioning. I left uh, I left all the power on. Well, that's lucky. Let's go ahead and grab our gold. All right, boys. What do you think? I'm going to wait until it gets to 1.1 about, and then we're going to see what we get. Right over here, 9.7, 9.8, 9.9. Let's do it now. All right, so the gold's flying in over here. We were right at about 1.1 or so. Wow. Okay. This is way better than it used to be. This is way better than it used to be. Holy crap. Or maybe we just found a better gold area. Oh, what a haul. We're up to four ounces of gold. There we go. The wave table is done processing the soil. Let's go ahead and take the plug out for right now. Uh, we might as well actually keep the plug over here because the magnetite separator is well, well, you know, I haven't tried it without the magnetite separator, but we'll just pretend right for right now that the magnetite separator is well, well worth it. Another day in the books, 6 p.m. boys. You know it's time to sleep until dawn over here. Uh, well, to be fair, well, that's probably a very, very early an early day for us. We got someone else that wants to work for us, huh? I don't know. I already have several workers over here. I don't really know what else I would want. Let's uh, let's check him out, though. So we've got Marshall Beavers. He looks like a psychopath. And then we have Mickey Dyer. So this guy over here works for 39%. And this guy over here works for 41%. Uh, cost of hired workers is 242 I don't have a lot of other stuff to put them on right now. Like, I have this guy in the hog pan pump. Like, I could put one of these dudes on just a normal pump, I guess. But I don't know if that would do very much. Um, 
I guess we could check it out. Let's go ahead and hire Marshall Beavers. Oh, the name. Let's go ahead and hire Marshall Beavers. Put him on the parcel. And we will put him on... Did that say I could put him on the pump as well? I could have two people on the pump? Hold on. So he's on there. He's on the pump. That's odd. I can only have one dude on the excavator, but I can, I can have two people on the pump, huh? All right, well, let's see. I mean, is it is the is the money flowing in any faster? I don't know. Maybe it is. Let's get out here and make money our way by putting our own back into it. Let's go ahead and turn all this on over here. Crank her up. Big dip, right over there. Sun's coming up. That means it's time to make that gold. Crank down our other thing. And then we've got to think about what we want to spend our money on. We could get the magnetite trailer. Um, but I don't know if that's really what I want yet. I don't know how much money that will truly make us. But right now, let's go ahead and grab an empty bucket. Put her under here. And get to work. You know what else we need? We need a name for our company. I didn't even think about that. We need a cool name for our gold digging company. What do you guys think? Let me know of some suggestions in the comments section. We'll figure something out for the name of our gold mining company. See, I need your guys' suggestions because if you leave it up to me, it's going to be something horrible. It'll be like Stacks Incorporated or something like that. Something absolutely dreadful. I don't know if we're a, if we're, an, if we're a corporation, if we're an LLC. I don't know if we could use the title Incorporated. Oh, I've got plenty of pay dirt all around me. And eventually, I do want to get like the front loader and stuff like that as well as the bulldozer. The bulldozer is important. Some people were asking, like, what the purpose of the bulldozer is. The bulldozer is actually important for when you screw up the ground so much. And then you need to make it less screwed up so you can get around in your machines. It basically, like, creates little ramps and cool stuff like that. Like, all this dirt, it doesn't just disappear when I pick it up. Like, it'll fall to the ground and stuff like that. So it doesn't just go away. Like, actually, hold on. Let me see if I can get it to do it real quick. So we'll grab a chunk of dirt over here. Like so. Now if we just bring it over here and we let go. You'll notice. I don't know if you can see it from this angle. There we go. You'll notice. See how I've, how I've actually raised the terrain over there. So there's like terrain destruction and reformation. Which is pretty sweet. Oh, I've got another one. I've got another one. How about this one? How about this one? The Magnetite Masters. See? See how bad it is? When you let Gray do it. Alright, we've still got a little bit of pay dirt in there. Let's go ahead and grab this. We're going to bring it over. Well, we're going to drop it down for right now. We need our other bucket. Which, there we go. I knew I had a third bucket around here somewhere. Let's go ahead and put that over there. Now, this bucket over here we want to keep because it's slowly filling up with magnetite. Again, if we ever feel like selling it, I guess we could. I just don't know if it's, if it's valuable enough to do so. Magnetite. On. Separate my magnetite, baby. Separate it good and long. There we go. Like so. And like I said, we should get right around 90. Now, can we get an even bigger haul this time? I want to see an even bigger haul. 90%. Okay. Let's go ahead and shut her off. No reason to keep that going over there. And now we can plug this in over here. You can see the wires, like, go flying all over the place because of how much movement we've had on them. And, oh, can I reach it from here? I almost could. I kind of have to go around this way. Now the friggin' thing goes snaking all over the place. Oh, I think it I think it ricocheted somewhere. There it is. What I need to do is turn this to face the other way so that they're facing the same direction. Okay. Grab the gold. Wave table. Let's look at it. So we had 4.1. Come on. Give me that gold, baby. Give me that gold. 4.7, 4.8. Yes, 4.951. Okay, so we've already gone past the half ounce mark. 5.3. Yep. 5.4. Okay. Right around 5.4. So we're getting what? Like maybe 1.3 or so ounces per shot? I think we should probably head back and go ahead and sell our ounces so we can make some money. Just refueling all my pumps here. Gotta stay on top of this stuff, man. Otherwise, you'll be losing out on money. You won't even know why. It's because your pumps will be out of fuel. Oddly, though, it wasn't letting me refill the generator. That's kind of unusual. Maybe I have to open the cap first or something. I'll bet that's what it is. How about if we open... There we go. Okay, yeah, because our generator... Was getting kind of low on fuel. So let's go ahead and fill that up. There we go. Go ahead and close the cap. All right, let's go ahead over to town and make some money. Over to the blacksmith, boys. It's time to melt this stuff into delicious bars of gold. Well, one single bar of gold. Excuse me, blacksmith. Old Gray rolling up in here, running into your friggin' motorcycle. The motorcycle took it like a champ, man. Over here. 
five ounces. Uh, so we could sell the ore, but I think gold bars are on the what? 1187, huh? Uh, gold is going down, huh? All right, well, that's fine. We'll still melt our bars down. Melt the gold! Yes! Look at my bar over here. Looking slick. Put it right in the back of the truck. Now, I don't even know if we need to carry this with us. Or once you make the bar, if the if the game itself always recognizes that you have that bar. And it will, like, you know what I mean? Like, where you can't possibly lose it. So even if it teleports somewhere in the stage, you can always go to the bank and sell it regardless. All right. Rolling on up. Turn it on off. Over here to the bank. Should be a good 10 grand or something, isn't it? Uh, no, it's not going to be that much. It's going to be, like, six, I think. Let's go over here to sell gold bars. Gold bars. Sell it up. And, all right, so we're at 7,800 bucks right now. 7,800 bucks. And while we've been doing this, 0, 0,40 0 ounces of gold have been made by, by our, uh, our employees. So let's take a look real quick before we finish things up. Let's take a look at what we need for the next level. Now, eventually, I want to get the big excavator because it looks amazing. These two things over here are also extremely expensive. But we're going to need... We're gonna need a lot of stuff over here. You need the shaker. We're gonna need the jig. There it is, the duplex jig. And we need the trommel. And then we need all of this stuff. And all this stuff, we're gonna need at least $100,000 to get this stuff together. So that we can fully outfit our dig site as best as it can be. And like I said, eventually I wanna get this big excavator too. Because that's really gonna help out. But like I said, our guys are making money, the gold is rolling in from the employees, and they were a damn fine investment. Mr. Batty, I'm going to be visiting you soon to buy a couple of new machinery items. I'm hoping anyway. Guys, hope you're enjoying Gold Rush, where we now have employees working for us. And we're doing Magnetite, which I think I am going to buy that Magnetite trailer, so we can start selling that as well. Anything else you guys can think of, feel free to let me know in the comments section below. Until the next time, stay foxy and much love.